Hi guys, uh, welcome to the FinTech Jap YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, CPU mining today. Uh, you've seen in uh, one of my previous videos that I built, uh, I started building a mining rig and I figured why not uh, mine on the CPU a little bit, see what we get. Uh, but before we get into all the details and everything, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and uh, click the notification bell so you know when I drop a next video. Um, <clears throat> I, I plan on the next videos to talk about uh, more about profitability since you guys seem to like these these kind of videos. Uh, and also watch out for a video coming up in the next couple of weeks about what I do uh, with the crypto that I mine, uh, where I keep it and uh, it's going to be very interesting and in how i earn a little bit more just by holding it so uh let's uh dive into this this uh, video <clears throat> as you might have seen uh if you watch the build video i will uh, link the uh, video in the on the right um i couldn't get my hands on a um Mining motherboard and the Celeron CPU, the, which are the norm for uh, for GPU mining. So I had to buy a uh, gaming motherboard, and the cheapest processor that I could find was an Intel Core i5 9400F processor. Uh, it's a six-core processor. It's a ninth generation. Uh, it used to be uh, formerly known as the Coffee Lake. Um, it has six cores, like I said, the maximum frequency of uh, or a base frequency of 2.9 gigahertz and it goes up to 4.1. Uh, just so you know, I did not do any uh, overclocks on the process. So the processor is mining as it is out of the box. Uh, I'm using uh, Hive OS to mine. Uh, I have it here, uh, this worker has uh, two miners running in the flight sheet, so I'm mining Ethereum with the GPUs and Zilliqa, I will make another video uh, on how to dual mine Ethereum and Zilliqa later. Uh, also I'm mining XMR or Monero with the CPU. Uh, you can see it down here, the CPU, 6 core Intel i5. Uh, at 2.9 gigahertz uh, it currently runs at about 63 63 degrees celsius it has the stock uh, fan on it i didn't buy a fancy uh, fan for the cpu so it's running on that and uh, the whole system is is pulling about 246 watts right now which is the system the motherboard the cpu mining and two uh, geforce rtx 2060s mining but that on that uh, in another video um <clears throat> i am mining like i said monero on the support xmr pool and as you can see we are getting we are averaging around 2.2 kilo hashes a second over the last eight hours and it's been more it's it just calculates over the last eight hours but it's it's been going on like this uh more or less since i started so uh the pool gives us here the profitability for the 2.2 kilo hashes a second per year i use the biggest number possible because it's easier to calculate so it's a 0.2318 xmr but we'll get to that later uh now going let's start first to dive into how much electricity it consumes so uh up here i have the processor um type i bought this processor for 184 dollars i know the intel site says that the recommended customer price should be 157 but as as prices are higher and the uh, hardware is, uh, is more difficult to find uh, I had to pay 184 dollars and also since I'm, I'm located in Europe it, it's uh, yeah prices are just a bit higher than the US 
So in uh, in the build video, I I, I also measured the uh, electric electricity consumption. So the system takes 35.1 watts, as you can see here on the left, with no load on it, just running flat, and then the system plus the CPU mining Monero take 65.2 watts so that comes out to 0 0.0301 kilowatts an hour consumed for mining consumed by the GP by the CPU sorry for mining and here on the left so we have here per hour per day per week per month and per year, how much it consumes in kilowatts. And then on the right, we have the dollar amount for one hour, for 24 hours, for a week, for a month, and then for a year. This is calculated with a electricity cost of 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So uh, going down the list, it's burning less than a cent uh, per hour. It's burning about seven cents a day. Uh, it's burning about 50 cents in a week, $2.16 a month, and then $26.36 a year. Um, now, we are going to go down a little bit, and I have here the profitability. Let's start with, uh, let's go back to support XMR to see the current, let's refresh this page. So, the current profitability of mining is zero with my my kilo hashes that I have is 0.2321 XMR per year so we'll, we'll put this here it was 2321 0.2321 okay so going up we have 0.2321 XMR per year 0.019 per month 0.0044 per week and 0.00063 per day now the price of xmr at this time and we are talking about the 30th of june 2021 if we go to coin gecko right now at 11 20 a.m is 219 dollars and 40 cents and let's put that in as well 219 Point forty cents. Now we go to this column right here, and this calculates tells us how much dollar value we get from just straight mining. So we get thirteen cents per day, ninety-seven cents per week, four point eighteen cents, four dollars and eighteen cents a month, and fifty dollars and ninety-two cents per year. <clears throat> now we take out the money that we pay for electricity which is up here like i showed you for a day for a week for a month so basically we let's just go back to the year we have fifty dollars and 92 cents that we we make mining monero we subtract the 26 dollars 36 cents for electricity and then we end up with a profit of $24.55. And now the last, the last column calculates my ROI or return on investment. That, uh, so basically how long it will take me to pay off the CPU by mining Monero with it. So basically it takes 2,735 days or seven years seven and a half years basically at the current profitability and at the current Monero price um, it's a long time to be honest with you it is it worth it to get uh, this CPU to buy the CPU for the purpose of mining Monero as it stands right now I wouldn't do it it's just I think running the CPU at full load for seven and a half years it's probably gonna break before that and you're you're not even gonna recuperate your your investment so uh, to buy it for mining I would say no uh, if you have it 
and if it's sitting there idly doing nothing then I would just put it to work a little bit uh, of course I, I go back to the to the the initial criteria let's say for this test uh, we are talking about the i5 and it's not overclocked at all if of course uh, if you overclock it you could probably squeeze another 30 percent out of it uh, let's say in, in terms of power and then of course profit and that would cut down your roi to maybe five years four and a half years but still i mean it's still a really long time and of course we are taking into account 10 cents per kilowatt hour for electricity which is not the case for everybody to be honest where i live right now i am paying 17 cents a kilowatt hour so if we put that in look i'm getting a profit of six bucks a year and it will take me 30 years to pay this processor off so basically for me it's not worth uh, mining with it I'm just uh, you know playing around basically uh, testing out some pools doing some videos and and so on so I would not recommend uh, uh, you know mining on this CPU if if you get lower I, I heard some people in the US have uh, uh, eight cents they, they pay eight cents let's say for for kilowatt hour then you know six years it's still it's still a long time it's you're killing that CPU and you know uh, it's it's not worth it uh, at least this CPU is not worth it in my opinion to be mining Monero as it is uh, so I will try to to mine other coins for you guys on the CPU and I will come up I will come back with uh, more videos so again please subscribe smash the like button and uh, comment down below if, if you want a particular coin uh, for me to, to mine and to make this kind of calculations for you guys and I really appreciate it. Uh, have a good one.